Hi, welcome to Ball Up. My name is Mac Alexander, and today we're going to learn how to spin a basketball on your finger. So, in order to be able to do this, we are going to need a couple tools for today. For today, so first, obviously, you're going to need a basketball. Second, you're going to need your hands, and then third, you're going to need a thirst for knowledge, so that way you can be a better baller each and every day you step on the court. So, to start off with. In order for you to kind of get comfortable and acquainted, what you're going to want to do is to get a good handle on the ball. So first, if your hands feel a little bit, a little bit cold and you don't have very much friction going between your hands and the ball, what you're going to want to do is just kind of warm your hands up a little bit. So this is something that all the great point guards like Steve Nash, Steph Curry do right before they actually get a handle of the ball before the game actually starts. So after you get a good handle on the ball in your hands, then you're going to want to practice with the hand that you're going to be spinning the ball on. Today we're going to use my right hand because I'm right hand dominant. Obviously it's going to differ if you're left hand dominant. So to practice, what we're going to do is kind of get a balance for the ball, make sure that you feel comfortable because if you don't feel comfortable then it's just going to be really awkward when you're actually spinning it. So get a good handle on it, kind of just spin it not on your finger but in the palm of your hand just so that way you have that comfortable feeling and not have it be awkward when you're spinning it. So then, now what we're going to do is actually going to practice on one of our fingers. First, we're going to start with our index finger. So once you have the ball in your hand and you're ready and you feel comfortable, go ahead and start spinning. Sometimes you're not going to get the bounce right away, but what you're going to want to do is continue to practice and continue to try and get it on there longer without adding any, more momentum, any momentum with your other hand. So now that we get more and more of a bounce and more of a well-proportioned spin, what we're going to do now is add more momentum to the spin with our left hand. And don't hit it too hard. Just tap it every time so that way you're adding more and more spins. And now it kind of looks like you're spinning the globe in your hand. So after you do that, now we're going to try and transition between the different fingers on our hand. So we'll start with the spin. We'll kind of get a little bit more momentum. And as you can see, not even I get it on the first try. But once you get a good enough spin, then you can start transitioning to your middle finger, to your ring finger, and then finally, if I can get it, your pinky. And the pinky, obviously, because it's the smallest finger on your hand, it is going to feel really awkward, and it's going to be not exactly the most perfect spin, but it's definitely enough to show out to the rest of the ballers on the court. So now what we're going to do is that now that we have gotten more acquainted with our right hand, we're going to try and do something a little bit more freestylish, and we're going to try and move it to our left hand. So what you're going to need to do is that you're going to have to be really confident in your spin to be able to transition it to your left hand. And what we're going to do is that from my middle finger, you're going to, ooh, lost it. Ah, jeez. There we go. Ah. Well, that's why we practice. Unfortunately, that is all the time that we have today. But thank you so much for joining me. Next week, we're going to be learning how to shoot a free throw. My name is Mac Alexander, and I will see you next time.